Regan Slaymaker for international oh, boxing yeah. news, and I'm joined by Abbas Barrow. Barrow. Is that good? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. We'll jump straight into it. So, third round KO uh, last time out, or you were lovely one, too. You were saying it just a bit off camera. Talk to me. Very happy with your performance last time out? Yeah, of course. Uh, was a good. I enjoyed myself. I had much fun in the ring, so I was happy. Definitely, you, you should be out. I thought it was a class before. Yeah. Obviously, it was only a three round fight. But kind of what was um, what were Adam and the team saying to you in between rounds? Kind of, it was obviously we'll go on to it in a minute, but was it kind of a bit in your mind that you had to win this fight to get to obviously get to the European title fight? Did that kind of relax? Yeah, of course. Uh, I always have to win fights, but there was no pressure on it. I was just uh, trying to have fun in the ring, you know. Been out for a while, so I was just enjoying myself, and the team were focusing on me to have a good structure in the ring to show myself uh, that I'm back and uh, it was just, we, have, we, ha we had a nice flow, you know. Definitely you did, and as I said, the lovely one too, that stole the show right at the end. Yeah. Um, kind of, and then we'll go on to it, so you're mandatory for Milan Pratt's uh, European Super World Tour title. Um, how are you feeling about the fight? Obviously you mentioned you were mandatory for a while, but you had an injury, so you had to like, explain it a little bit. But how are you feeling about that fight in general? I feel good about the fight because uh, it came to the right time. Um, even last year, I felt like okay, that was the next step to have. So I was really happy uh, for this opportunity, but I had to pull out due an injury. So and I, I'm really also grateful that we uh, kind of still be mandatory for that, and we still on on that journey. So I'm very excited, and I'm really sure uh, I'm, I'm belong there. So I'm uh, pretty sure I'm gonna get the European title. Definitely, we hope you do as well, mate. Thank and you. We spoke off camera. Wasson won the first bit as well. Yes. And if you mentioned that uh, the fight could land in Germany, how would that feel for you? Got a European title in Germany as well. I think it's it's also big for Germany because uh, I don't think there was any quality boxing in the past time. So uh, I'm happy to bring this exciting fight to Germany as well and I think uh, German people love boxing so I'm happy to be in this position to bring a, a European title fight to Germany and uh, to bring also a good performance to the uh, German fans. When do you think that fight will land or is it just very early stages? Uh, not really, I hope for June in Germany, begin of summer. It could be a nice summer with the European title on my shoulder, so that's what I'm looking for. Definitely, I hope that we can catch up with you after that one, mate. So, I mean, we were just kind of talking off about kind of how you feel like training with that before. It's quite kind of. Obviously, you said you were mentioned with your previous coach and you trained Arthur Abraham as well. You don't mind telling me pretty much what you said off camera as well. So, how did you start training with that? Uh, you know, uh, Uli Wegner was my coach and uh, he was retiring and uh, the Sauerland brothers hooked me up with Adam and uh, they had a list of coaches so uh, when I met Adam I, I, felt, I felt his knowledge of, of boxing and I know okay, it's a good place for me to start and I stood, stick to him and trying to improve since then and I think I've done a great progress under, under, under his uh, supervision and yeah, that's how the whole journey starts. Yeah, well, we look forward to seeing the journey continue, mate. Yeah, yeah. 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 Question. So obviously, Michael Cobham challenging uh, yeah. 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 for the Olympics for the featherweight title. Kind of, how are you, you train with me every single day? How are you feeling for me going into this fight? I'm very excited for him, you know. Like with the boys in the gym, we see each other more than our family, so we kind of grow together. And uh, for him coming back for from his loss and uh, him improving makes me also proud because uh, that's what we what we've been training for and seeing one achieving it is like a, a, a good sign. It makes me also happy that because we are all on the same journey and uh, and he trains hard, man, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he will get. Like he, he, he goes stronger in his mind and I think nobody will uh, stand a chance against him in the ring and I'm really excited to watch him win the world title because he, he deserves it more than he deserves it. Definitely does, especially coming back off the wood with the two very good uh, fans. Definitely deserves it. I'm going to ask you for my time today, final oh, question. Uh, what does boxing mean to you? Oh, 
boxing. Boxing is my life. Uh, I, I can't find the right word to express this, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, boxing. Is, boxing is life. Like it's my passion. You know, like I breathe boxing. I breathe out boxing. So that's 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 my life. It's a it's a whole journey. Perfect. Thank you very much. Best of luck. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.